Tomorrow, members of Congress will confirm the Electoral College votes and certify that Joe Biden is the new president-elect. But as Harrison Golden explains, it won't end without a fight. This was the scene outside Senator Bill Cassidy's Baton Rouge office a day before Congress counts the Electoral College votes, likely to end in President-elect Joe Biden's favor. His job as a senator is to uphold the, the Constitution. Cassidy's team declined to speak with us on camera, but he's been clear where he stands, issuing a bipartisan statement Sunday saying the voters have spoken and Joe Biden won, though these demonstrators want Cassidy to change his mind. And he made an oath before God. That oath, even if he breaks that oath before man, he still has to answer to God. On the other side, Senator John Kennedy. He goes into Wednesday's count pledging to oppose the tentative tally. He too declined to speak on camera, though a statement this weekend claimed, quote, unprecedented allegations of voter fraud and other irregularities. Congressman Clay Higgins has voiced similar concerns, even as the president elect seems to have enough votes in his favor. To me, it's a formality because all 50 states have certified. This is political analyst John Kuvion, who notes there's been no widespread evidence of voter fraud nor of voting irregularities. That so far, the courts have rejected efforts to overturn the vote. Even though there's talk about objecting and causing, which would, of course, trigger a debate and speeches and all that, to me, tomorrow is essentially a done deal. Nonetheless, the outgoing president's supporters still stand. Harrison Golden, NBC, Local 33 News. Now, this all comes about two weeks before Inauguration Day, which is set for January 20th.